Watching a frog be born and go through metamorphosis is one of the most mesmerizing things in nature. It's evolution right before your eyes. Today we'll witness 100 days of pure magic. From a single egg to the most beautiful frog on the planet, Cruzahila crispidopus or fringed leaf frog. Rare, whimsical, like a living carved leaf or a praying mantis. Still uncommon in the hobby, every successful breeding is a miracle. After many wet nights and tropical downpours, something happened. A moment we'd been waiting for years. A couple met in the purest amphibian passion, Amplexus. Okay, the female sits gracefully on a leaf. Uh, well, mostly. Okay, she's slipping into the water. But let's call it graceful anyway. She chose a spot just above water, so her future tadpoles could drop straight into their nursery. That's thoughtful parenting. Um, though, if anything goes wrong, that egg mass could just plop into the drink and uh, won't survive. Hope it won't happen. Her belly looked promising, very promising. And the eggs were incredible. Not clear, not white, turquoise. Inside, shimmery silver discs. Each one looked like the eye of an ancient forest. How did she even fit all of that inside her? If you stare into Cruzahila's egg mass long enough, it's been to stare back. Or maybe it's mold. Or maybe not. I hope those tiny embryos would make it. Okay, development signs are showing. Still kind of looks like swamp jello. You would think it's gone bad. I almost did. But then, on day five, one tiny bubble twitched. A little turn. A subtle curve. Like someone inside was whispering, Hey witch, don't give up on me yet. Wow, that's what they are. Weird in life, weird in beauty and totally mesmerizing. Watching a frog embryo develop from a shimmering translucent XL? It's breathtaking. The jelly looks like a gemstone now. And I am falling in love with these babies. Day 10, they drop. Like pearls of rain. Cruzahila style gravity. The gels float out like lace, regal. But too delicate to net, don't even think about it. They barely move. Not sure they have realized they are born yet. But they three in the water? They start to steer. We have maybe 20 tadpoles, so it is possible to name each one. But nothing too fancy, don't want to jinx them. Do they need a leg to grow? No. Nope. Frogs are wonderfully diverse. These ones just need a puddle, a crack, a leaf cup. And since their parents don't eat them, they can stay right here. Same terrarium, same setting, same mood. Daily care, water changings, leftovers to nibble, they are going wild on this stuff. Flake food for fish and no rent to pay or mortgage. Honestly, a dream. You want evolution? There it is. First, the hind legs. Already curved with the same fine patterns as their parents. But the real magic is still brewing, just beneath the skin. Keeping a fringed leaf rock is like hosting a forest spirit. They changed the air around them and unlocked a door to another world. Uh, what's that? Worms? Ew! Hope they won't hurt the babies. Oh, found a fly. Good. That means it's drain fly larva, Psychodides. Google say they're harmless. Eat organic gunk. Gotta admit, they're kind of pretty, a bit of living, plumbing art. Yeah, it's low-key server core, but I have seen worse. Once the back legs are in, the front ones pop out. Fully formed. It's a critical moment. If you don't give them land, they might drown. But they grew up with their parents. And the parents live in a fully furnished terrarium, so land secured. Look at this little grump. Four legs and a tail. Still undecided fisher frog. 
The mouth reshapes from round and sucking to a real frog mouth, a hunter's mouth. Tail fades like a dream ending. And just like that it climbs out, a froglet, wobbly, shy, unsure. Isn't it a miracle? That's a real fringed leaf frog, Chrysahelicrospidopus, small, glowing, alive. At night it is dark during the day, light and jade-like, incredibly modest at this age. Try filming them hunt, they freeze, go into I'm not here self-protective mode, so shy, so cute and so scared. And I'm scared either, because their forests are vanishing, their home drinking. All they ask for is shadow, silence, clean water and steady temperature. But deforestation, global warming, pollution… It is hard to say where these wonders will go. Maybe it is time we hope for love, for care, for amphibian magic. Froglet is just the beginning, 8 more, 15, each time feels like the first. From the act of frog, from rain to breathe, that was one life cycle, one of many. Can you see the light these frogs make? They are telling us the future of Earth. And I will share more light in my very next video.